Welcome to the President's Channel, respectful and hopefully educated people. Tonight, me and Joe are about to play a last quarter final of the tournament to decide who's advancing and playing against Bill. I picked West Ham, Joe picked Chelsea, Where am I? Where the fuck my blunt? Where the fuck my cut? Where the fuck my reef? What the hell? Uh, yeah, Joey, you're on FIFA now, specifically in London Stadium. Oh my God, Mr. Obama. I was always a big fan of you, Mr. President. You're the current president and you are playing as the team with blue jerseys, got it? Oh my God, I am president since when? And we proceed to kick off this crap of a match coming up. I'd be really surprised if Joe could at least score a pity goal. We both have chosen mid-table mandem, so anything could happen in this game. No, oh, I'm gonna beat your ass, Obama. I would watch out for his ability to summon Dark Brandon. Last time he did that, he clutched a long lost game of golf in few holes. Ah, <laughs> funny button go click click. <laughs> this man child just scored a goal against you, Obama. And he did that with his 56 overall custom player too. You can't be serious right now. Oh my God, I, I think my controller is disconnected. Just accept the fact that you're worse than me, Obama. How, how did Joe manage to make Chelsea play amazing Tiki Taka? How is that possible? And how did his low overall custom player made such an amazing link up? I'm just built different. I can't even be mad. It was just amazing play without a single mistake. Seeing Hazard in this game reminds me of how Real Madrid tried to replace me with him for 160 million euros, and he barely even played and got fat like Messi in the Burger League hey, by being on, benched man. all the time. It's worse waste of money than buying the real world course from Andrew Tate. Cry all you want, brokies, but until you get my kind of money, don't even try to insult me. Your word doesn't mean shit in real world. You are not even the wealthiest person here. I am the most wealthy person around. And these two are literal billionaires. So they are both richer than you. Check your facts before you call someone broke and keep your head down because you are not the highest in the room. Highest in the room is Obama, ha ha ha. Not gonna lie, Joe is spitting right now. You know that Joe Dog always spits. Uh, are we still talking about spitting fire or? Don't raise your voice at me, fat ass Trump, and listen to me, Ronaldo. What color is your Bugatti? Which one? Huh? My Bugatti Cento Dieci is white with black accents. My Chiron is half silver, half black, and my Veyron is just black. I also can tell you the color of my three Ferraris, two Rolse Royces, three Porsches, my McLaren Senna, Lamborghini, two Bentleys, Aston Martin Maserati, three Merces, and my two Audis. But that's optional, of course. What? Oh man, I just got an amazing idea. What if we all got our fastest car and raced against each other? That would be so cool. That doesn't make sense because if I whipped out my 67 Stingray, it would be scraps for you guys. Oh my God, why is your car collection also made out of literal dinosaur material? Oh yeah, we are most definitely doing that in future. It would be amazing privilege to race with presidents and some of the most influential people on earth. I, I think it would be the best if the race happened on few tracks, preferably Silverstone, Monza, and Daytona Speedway, and Monaco would be fun, I think. First time this kid said something useful. Oh man, our editor is gonna have a lot of hard work to do. I already feel sorry for him, but this just seems too fun to let it go. And this kid played games his entire life and spent like one and a half year on sim racing. He's gonna be fine. Also, he's gonna make like five bucks out of the video. So I don't see why he wouldn't do that. It's like a fortune in Eastern Europe, right? Oh my God, that is so ignorant, Trump. I'm pretty sure five bucks is considered as five bucks in Europe, but he's gonna do that for the fans because why not? My Ford F-150 is gonna smoke your asses on Daytona by miles. Let us know in the comments if you would like to see us race and also check out memberships, of course. Imagine how funny would it be if that geriatric scored one more goal against you in the remaining minutes. You got it, Chief. Yes, home run. There are no home runs in soccer, dumbass. What? Since when? Since like always. So let's put it hypothetically, for the sake of argument, that we would use hockey as example for explaining the rules, Mr. Biden. Like in hockey, you have two goals with goalies in football, and you have two teams with some players playing against each other simultaneously on one field, just like in hockey. Additionally to these arguments that are filled with facts and logic, you also have live audience and substitutions. Only thing that is different is of course the way you play and the fact that the game is separated in two halves that go on for 45 minutes, not four quarters, 
that go on for 20. I hope I could be of service to you, Mr. President. That's gotta be the slowest I ever heard you speak, Ben. I had to slow down to not confuse Joe Biden. I really have to quickly kick off and just confuse Biden with the speed of my gameplay. If I wanna progress further into the cup. You can't confuse someone who is confused 24 seven. He is too old to even get confused. At this point, thanks to being confused. I don't know how is that possible either. You all are yapping something about me being confident or something, blah, blah, but uh, what I was supposed to, ah, yes, but I, I am winning, ha, ha, ha. Oh my God, did you see my player just miss the ball with his head? What even was that? You deserve some bad luck after that lucky ass goal you scored in first match. Whoa, is Obungus a hater now? Oh, Bungus? Nah, you are pushing it, nigga. Stop making up these goofy nicknames for me or I will knock your fake teeth out of your mouth. Cheetah looking ass. You are literally built like a stick man. You can't do no harm to the big Don. Oh man, I was so scared for a moment. I thought my goalie will let the ball in. He is Polish and let me tell you that these Polish goalies are something else. In the last World Cup, I got five penalties and only one of them was saved and it was also by a Polish goalkeeper. I even bet a 100 euros with him that I will score it. And now I'm 100 euros poorer, I guess. Of course, Pepsi got five pens in eight games tournament. You literally got more penalties in career than me. Shut up, man. Hey, Obama, have you ever been to prison? No, why? Because I'm going to clap your cheeks like your buddy Tyrone. Whoa! Bro, you just got run over like Barcelona when they faced Bayern in 2020. I'm still here, by the way. No way Lil Bro is about to cry from trauma. Biden just destroyed West Ham's goalkeeper for the second time by shooting with no hesitation. Biden's secret weapon is just zero thoughts about shooting, and now he's leading two to nil against Obama. If Barack gonna fail to score at least two goals, then it's wraps for him in this tournament. I hate my life. Hey, Barack, watch out. Huh? What? Oh, fuck you, Joe. There is absolutely no freaking way this old hag just pounded you three to nil. Step up your game, Barack, or I'm gonna remind you about this loss every single day. Shut the hell up, Ronald McDonald, and what the fuck happened to your voice? Well, I spilled my Diet Coke all over my professional mic, so now I gotta use the one that came with the headset. You'll get used to it. Uh, and with that, we can wrap up this episode, guys. Biden advances further down the bracket, and Obama, that got somehow absolutely obliterated by Joe, gets knocked out in his first match. Well played anyway, guys. Let's never bring that up again, please. See you in the semi-final, Bill. Did you spill something on your mic, too? No, but it's funny because I want to, uh, what I was trying to, ah, uh, yes. Actually, it's funny because the answer is in the pinned comment. So if anyone is wondering, you are more than welcome to read that. I personally can't read, but my staff can, so whatever, I guess. This is your president. Subscribe to Oval Office Gaming right now or Barack will go get your oil with his drones.